Hello everyone. This is Sir Sanka. Now, after completing the lesson one from unit six, there are two lessons in each unit. So, from unit six, the first lesson we have completed. Now, I am here with you with the second lesson. That the name of the lesson is the talkative Baba. The talkative Baba. So we will see here how one man, a Baba, who cannot stop talking, who cannot stop talking. So about his, uh, some of the funny things that uh, are also mentioned in the relations that we will discuss. Okay, a very interesting, a funny story. You just be pay, pay your attention and listen carefully so that you will enjoy it. So, very long ago, there was a Sultan, there was a Sultan whose name was uh, Saharir, whose name was Saharir and his wife, his wife uh, liked to narrate the stories, his wife liked to narrate the stories and it happened that one night he often uh, used to narrate the stories uh, to his husband Sultan. Now, one night when she was narrating a story to his uh, to to her husband and the Sultan, he was uh, he very enjoyed this, and so we also see. What uh, the things are there? What funny things are there in these relations uh, that the Sultan he enjoyed after listening all this story in detail from his wife? So this story uh, she narrated this ancient Persian and uh, Arabic folk story. Some of uh, this. Now, the talkative barber is taken, is one of the stories from the Arabian Nights. So, there was uh, a barber who lived in the city of Kaskar. In the city of, there was a barber who lived in the city of Kaskar. 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 And, Lived with, who was a very great talker. He was very great talker. He talks too much. <clears throat> and once the Sultan, he called the barber, he called that barber who talks too much to his palace. Sultan, he called uh, the barber to his palace to shave. To shave. So the barber started talking and non stopped. Instead of saving him, he start. Uh, he talks only. He did not save the sultan, but only he talks. Now sultan got angry. Sultan, he got angry, and he asked him when uh, he would start saving. When he would start saving, he asked the barber when he would start saving. The barber replied, "Why?" Uh, you are so in hurry. Just uh, be patient. I will save you very soon. Then the Sultan he said that uh, you just stop talking. You are very much talkative. Uh, stop talking and do your uh, work. For what you you are here in the palace. So you are too much talkative. So stop talking and do your work. He ordered the uh, barber. Now. The barber said that uh, to the Sultan that he was not so talkative. He was not so talkative like his brothers. Like his brothers. Here the very funny things is there. What uh, he mentioned, he has uh, now telling uh, about his brothers. His bro he has he has six brothers. He has 
six brothers whose names are like back backbone buck bone and he his one eye disability is there what he uh, he is humpbacked he is humpbacked uh, uh, fleshy no mass that comes out on the back of a just uh, back no that is called the humpback and the other brother's name is bugbarie means bugbarie it is called the bugbarie and he is toothless he is toothless and he said the other name bugbug bugbug means he is half blind <coughs> then the other names of his brother is alcos alcus and he is uh, quite blind then the fifth brother what all nasis all nasis means he is what what problem he has his uh, all nasis there he is there he cannot hear anything alcos he cannot see back back he is half blind back boria he, he he has not uh, he has no what tooth toothless and backbone means humpback al nasis he is there and sakabak sakabak he is uh, defect in his speech he cannot what speak properly and he said that having this all you know uh, disabilities of his brothers uh, he is telling to the sultan that he is not that much talkative than his brothers their his brothers are his brothers are more what talkative than the barber it is really no very uh, interesting thing and funny things that when he said about his brothers all the disabilities they have but they talk much than the barber and by this the sultan he angry he angry at the barber and he ordered his soldiers to just get this barber out of the palace because he is uh, not saving the sultan but only talking and talking non stop he is not uh, he did not stop talking but only uh, he is not saving he is not saving the sultan but only he talks so he ordered the soldier, soldiers uh, and the soldier, the barber he said that he was he is there and it is not because that uh, he himself came there but it is the order of he is there it because of the order given by the sultan so now he said to the sultan that he would go from the palace only after finishing his shaving he will finish his shaving then only he would go he tell to the sultan now sultan he got very angry he he became very impatient no uh, he could not wait any longer and he said then just go for it just uh, do your work and uh, do or uh, start your work quickly and he said to the barber that he had an affair he had a work that uh, he has given he had a very important work at noon so for that he have to go as early as possible so that's why uh, he was asking the barber to save quickly now now instead of saving uh, he again asking the sultan that uh, what uh, important work that you are going to do in the at noon so if you tell me a little bit then he would what i would suggest to you i would give uh, advice to you he said this to sultan but uh, sultan uh, he did not uh, pay any attention uh, towards the barber and asked ordered him uh, to save and do your work but he again repeating the same thing just tell me uh, what work that you are going to do at noon so that he would uh, give some suggestions so he should uh, advise him 
that it would be very useful for the Sultan. He said to Sultan, Barber said to Sultan, it would be very useful. His advice would be very useful for the Sultan. Now, Sultan, he said, by no option left for him, he wanted that uh, to go in his work and he thought that maybe by telling this, uh, the barber would uh, finish his work. Now, the Sultan, he told him that there, there is a feast. He invited some friends to his uh, palace and uh, for that he have to go. So he needs some uh, preparation for that. So he tell this to the Sultan. Now, a Sultan told the barber. Now the barber, by getting this, uh, he also remember that uh, and tell the Sultan that, yes, I, I now remember that yesterday I invited uh, to some friends, to, to some uh, friends to my house. Uh, what? For like a, a small, he said that a feast in his house. Five, four or five friends he invited. The barber invited in his home. And he again added by telling that he has not prepared anything. He forgot everything. He forgot everything that he has invited four or five friends yesterday and today his friends, they will come at home, to his home, to Barber's home. But it is out of his mind. He did not uh, uh, what uh, prepared anything for them. Uh, he did not prepare any food for them. So he was telling this to the Sultan. And Sultan, uh, he feel little, what, pity on him. Uh, he was ready to do. He was uh, ready to do for uh, for the uh, or help the what barber so that he uh, to get right of him just to to get right of him. He want that um, by helping him just he would send this barber out of the palace. So he was ready to help him and he suggested. And he tell to the barber that he would give his uh, own food, his own food that has been prepared for the Sultan. So he tell the barber that he would give this food to you and you can go and what? Give it to your friends that you have invited in your hand today. The Sultan said to the farmer of barber. Now Barbar was very happy by uh, when the Sultan he told this to him, he was very happy. But what? He want to see. He want to see that food, what kind of food has been prepared. So he want to see. And the Sultan he ordered his uh, soldiers, his uh, some uh, workers out there, he ordered and to bring this before the Barbar, he would uh, see. It. Uh, now, after looking uh, very carefully, the barber said the food is very uh, good. The food is very good that he can take this food and can serve this food to his friends that he has invited in his home today. Now, at the end, he also said, by, uh, he wants some fruits also. He wants some fruits for the desert. Desert means what? Uh, special, no sweet dish after uh, food. After the food, some sweet dish is required. And so that is called the desert. Now, he wanted some fruits from the king. Now king, he ordered his soldiers to bring fruits for the barber. And before the barber, they have brought and now the barber, he was very happy to see all these fruits and food and he would take this and served his four or five friends that he has invited to his home. Now, the Sultan, he thought that he would continue his work, he would finish his work, but uh, he took the razor and he start, as soon as he start, uh, his, uh, he start, sa start saving the 
Sultan, he again <coughs> start talking by saying that, Sultan, I thought that you, you were not so generous as you are. No, he thought that uh, he was not so much generous. But after uh, getting so much food, fruits, no, from the Sultan, uh, he thought that uh, he is telling to Sultan that he is so generous, he is so kind that he helped the what? Mm, help the <coughs> barber. Help the barber. So by giving all this food and fruits, is uh, the barber he could not stop talking he is still talking and uh, not finishing the what his work not finishing his work and he was talking and just doing his work so this lesson up to this much only so we will see here some uh, new words like the meaning of this generous i said it's kind uh, desperation the thing become very disturbed oh. Uh, or we can say hopeless mercy mercy it is called a tendency toward uh, forgiveness and patient patient means willing to wait for uh, willing to wait if necessary then sparing words not having many words then the other hastily hastily means quickly some other new words are there in your book that you can read by yourself and these words that I have written here on the board uh, it is not in your book, the meanings are not in the book so that's why I have written I will send this, you read at home and what you do, you go through the lessons once so that uh, you will understand more about these lessons and the notes that I will provide you afterwards so today this much only. I hope you have understood. So thank you very much. I uh, stay healthy, eat healthy. So today this much only. Thank you very much.